welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy if you're new here and today I'm going to do a little video on my take of sustainable fashion. Now I know this is a bit of a controversial topic and I'm not going to be making judgment on any sides because it's such a hard thing to get right and I don't really think you ever truly can. But I thought I'd run you guys through on the little st steps I'm taking to try and be a bit more sustainable, a bit more ethical in my clothing choice decisions. So if you'd like to see what I'm trying to do, then just keep watching. So for those of you who know, obviously doing YouTube, I do a lot of hauls. I try to do a lot of fashion content over on my Instagram, although work has kind of taken over a little bit at the moment. But in general, I do visual videos on fashion, lifestyle, DIYs, and a lot of that. And a lot of the YouTube kind of culture is to do hauls and is a lot of fast fashion which is obviously one of the really big problems <laughs> contributing to global warming and lots of people not getting treated the way they should be. So I have been trying to do a couple of steps to try to make the way I shop, the way I live in general more sustainable, but today we're gonna, gonna kind of try and focus on fashion. So obviously if you've clicked on this video and if you've seen any of my videos before, you will know that I do a lot of charity shopping. So that's definitely my first thing on how I try and stop shop more sustainably is shopping second hand. So most of my clothes, including this top, are second hand from the charity shops. And I go in there quite a lot. I know that's probably a bad thing because I go in there quite a lot, but I shop second hand and try and find pieces that I know are gonna last me a long time and make me really happy. And I know I'll hold on to for as long as possible. I do also try and get clothes slightly bigger just so I know they'll fit when my weight fluctuates and I find that's a really good way of not only saving money but also hopefully trying to save the planet a little bit. So shopping secondhand obviously you're not contributing to any more clothes being made because the clothes have already been made, they've already had a life and you're kind of just extending the life a little bit more. Obviously these are clothes that maybe would have gone into landfill uh, or burnt or whatever they do with clothes. So it basically means that hopefully you're stopping these clothes from going in the bin and dying. <laughs> you're kind of giving these clothes a little bit of a second life. And charity shopping is a great way to do this. Not only are you getting really cheap, fashionable clothes, obviously you're giving money to charity and hopefully trying to stop the whole craze of fast fashion. I deleted all my fast fashion apps off my phone, which is, Probably my second tip to you, delete the clothing shop apps off your phone because I know if you're anything like me, um, if I'm bored, if i am not really got anything to do, if I'm traveling or whatever, I will sit there and I will scroll through fast fashion websites or just fashion websites in general. And it kind of feeds into that whole thing of there's new stuff and I want it, there's new trends, I need it. And you don't, plain and simply enough. So one of my main second tip to you guys is instead of having apps about buying stuff, well, I have one called Pure Pull. It's like purple, but with an E in it, I think. I will leave it up on screen, but basically what you do is you can take pictures of all of your clothing items. And then if I get a text saying, Amy, do you want to come out tomorrow? If I, instead of going on a pretty little thing and misguided and looking for clothes to get the next day, I will go on my wardrobe, which is virtual and look through all my clothes and think I can wear that dress that I already have and actually get use out of my clothes. Also, my third thing is re-wearing clothes. Don't be worried to re-wear things. If people have seen you in one thing and then they see you again in the same sort of week, that is fine. There is a thing called a washing machine and we all use it. So we all should be wearing our clothes more than once. Don't wear outfits and chuck them away. If you are the sort of person that wants to get a new outfit for things, maybe try and rotate them. Make sure you're swapping your clothes around with your friends and you can all get new clothes that aren't new, are uh, swapped around between all of you. So that's a super good idea. Um, or if you really must get rid of the clothes, then sell them on to Depop, give them to charity, give them a second life rather than just chucking them in the bin. Also, you can make a bit of money. I sell all my unwanted clothes on Depop and it's a great way because people are getting clothes and I'm getting more storage space. So it's a really good way to kind of prolong your clothes life is to sell them on afterwards or anything I don't think will really sell on Depop, I'll put in a charity bag and know that it's gonna be then sold for charity. So that's a really, another really good idea to kind of extend your clothes life a little bit. And another thing I love to do is go on the Good On You app. 
so this is an app on your phone which i discovered through i think uh, a sustainable fashion instagram page i'll leave a screenshot on screen of what it's like so you basically go onto the app you can type in any brand you want and it has so so many there's been very few times where i've typed in a brand and it didn't have it and it basically gives you a rating on how good it is for the environment how good it is for the workers and kind of gives you an overall on how good the brand is and if it's kind of making adequate steps to kind of combat all of the bad things about fashion and um, this is a great way to kind of know where you're shopping is good for everyone and it's a great way to do it unfortunately the only downside of the app is I have typed in so, so, so many high street brands, like everyone I can think of that are located around me. And the only shop I've actually found that hasn't got a really bad rating is M&S, which is not a problem. I am happy to shop in M&S and found such great things, but it does just go to show how big the problem is that basically all of the shops that I know and that are around me are not good on their workers, not good on the environment, and just not making adequate steps to kind of combat all of these problems. But this app is a great way to kind of control what you're doing and I kind of type in things and then I'll think maybe I won't buy anything in this shop. However, I still love to go shopping. I will go shopping to these big shopping centres and I'll look around in the shops and instead of buying stuff, we'll just get ideas on things I like, trends and all that stuff. And then I will go either on Depop, into the charity shops and try and find things that I like that. DIY them myself, upcycle clothes, I'm learning to sew, I've learned to embroid. And there's so many different ways to kind of give your clothes a second bit of life. So maybe the things you get in the charity shops aren't 100% on trend, but you can might make, be able to make them on trend. Or to be fair, everything I find in the charity shops is normally so nice. And if you want to see what sort of bits you can get in the charity shops, then definitely check out my charity shop haul playlist on here um, and it'll kind of give you a bit of an idea of what you can buy from the charity shops and what sort of clothes you can get because people are always so shocked that all my clothes basically are from the charity shops and are so gorgeous and I find such gems there that it's definitely a great thing um, but I definitely do think that this app is amazing as not only does it mean that I am kind of shopping in better places, but I'm shopping less because unfortunately it's just not as readily available, which is swings and roundabouts, why that's good, why that's bad. But this definitely means I'm not buying as much and that is definitely a good thing. Um, obviously over buying things that you don't need, that you're never gonna wear, isn't good for the environment, it's not good for anyone. So definitely just try and limit the amount you're buying. That's something I definitely need to listen to because although I'm shopping second hand, but I'm still probably buying too much um but as long as you're taking good care of your pieces wearing them a lot trying not to wash them as much as that will kind of shorten the life of your clothing pieces patch your clothes up if they're broken if they've got a hole sew it up if it's missing a button put a button on I have also found clothes I love because they can change with me. I found wrap skirts are amazing because if my waist gets a little bit bigger, I can just move the button across, which is a really good way to kind of prolong the life of your clothes. And also then if I see a skirt or something in store, I can see it and think that's about a size too small. I could extend to that a little bit. Um, and just try and find ways to re-wear your clothes in a different style. Um, if you've got a shirt, maybe try tying it around your waist or wearing it open or wearing it as a cut beach cover up, not just done up as a button up. There's so many different ways to kind of rework your clothes, wear a dress as a top, wear, oh there's so many ways, there's a scarf as a top. And you can change all of these things and it means that one piece of item, one item of clothing is getting so much more use. And I feel like I've just rambled on a lot, but these are all kind of my top tips and my sustainable ramble of what I'm trying to do. I know I'm probably not perfect. I know I need to be looking at materials and there's so many more things to think about, but it all gets a little bit overwhelming. So just know whatever steps you are making, whether it's just researching about it, whether it's actually putting the action kind of into play, you are doing what is right for you. And just, yeah, it's a really interesting thing to think about. It's a really thing that may drive you a bit crazy because you realize how bad everything is. But doing your research, looking into it, where you're spending your money, how you're spending your money, is definitely a really good way to kind of make the first steps to being a little bit more sustainable and a little bit more green, which we all should. So that was my little ramble about how I'm trying to be a tiny bit more sustainable, 
bit more ethical and a bit more of just an all-round good human and if you did like today's video then well done for getting for it like the video if you haven't already comment the steps you're doing if you've got any top tips about how to be sustainable and how to live kind of your best ethical life then definitely let me know and subscribe if you're not already if you like thrifting if you like DIYs, upcycling anything like that then definitely stick around because i've got lots of videos on that all the time and yeah i really hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in my next one bye